make friends just to brainwash them to watch your videos. I was thinking about that. You know, when you meet people in real life, <laughs> some of them can either be completely uninterested in what you're doing online and probably jealous, and then some of them can be completely fucking cool and willing to participate in your live streams and stuff. And um, most of the people I know probably... You know, I think that there's another portion, too. People have lives, and, you know, maybe you're just not as good friends as you think you are. Um, my hand's been twitching today. Maybe I'm getting uh, Parkinson's or something. I don't know. That would suck. Um, so, anyways... Uh, YouTube, man, I've seen the desperate part of the internet. I've seen the desperate part of the internet. Once you see the desperate part of the internet, you learn that, you, like, stop being desperate. Stop taking it to the extreme. Stop being so worried about how many people are viewing your videos. Stop fucking caring. But still, but still, make, make good stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, still, like, put in the work. And, and that's, I, that's one thing you gotta realize, too. It's like, if you don't put in the work, then, hey, what, what, are you, what are you fucking... It's like, you can't just put in the work just once, either, you know? You gotta think long-term. You gotta get a good strategy, you know? You gotta have, like... You know, you gotta be top-notch. But you, always got, you also gotta realize the potential of what you're doing. Like, is this gonna, gonna be appealing to, to, to smart people? Or, or is it going to be for the people that are just smoking weed and just want something to watch, you know? And, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know? It seems like the, the internet is really quick to, you know, <laughs> there's, it, there's just a big, it's like, it's like a big war, but it's just like a whole bunch of bullshit too, you know? But it's like, it's quick to, it's quick to judge, it's quick to, to throw you out in the street and just forget that you even exist. You know, it's quick to, it's quick to just trample over you like you're nothing, like you're nobody. And, uh, you know, I've, I've seen, like I said, I've seen the de desperate part of the internet, which made me, which kind of turned me into the person I am now. Just like, that's why, that's why I make videos to post every day, and I just talk on some stuff. I try to write a good title. I try to be funny. And a lot of time, I don't think I'm being funny enough, and I'm just talking. It's like, dude, I don't even want to be serious anymore. Just turn everything that people say on the internet when they're being serious into a fucking parody and just make it a big joke. Because that's all it's worth to me anymore. It's just a big joke. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the desperate part of the internet is basically people that share links, people that, that, that believe that they're not getting exposure and, you know, or they have a dream... And they're trying to chase it, and they're or they're trying to have this. It's like having a corny way of of thinking about succeeding at what you're doing, um, without realizing like the bigger picture or how many people are trying to fucking do what you're doing, you know. And and that's the whole reasoning of oversaturation. And honestly, a lot of like everything that I post, I never expect anything ever to happen. Um, but I, but I still try and I'm surprised when anybody even likes my stuff. Um, but I've taken, I've taken stuff to kind of the extreme of, of desperation of trying to succeed online and believing that, you know, especially independently, you know, when you're not like, you don't have any, like no one's really got my back in the entertainment industry. You no, know, I'm not really, you know, backed by anyone and, and it's like hey you know i went the route where it's like you know i'm not really trying to make friends i'm not really trying to be a person that's um uh, you know I, i'm not i don't i don't i just don't care you know i just think that a lot of it is just bullshit and entertainment in general is just it, it can just be so fake and uh and i think a lot of people can see through it and that's why it becomes just so like it can become so interesting and so systematic. You know, we're moving on to the next thing. You're, you're, just, you're just slicing and dicing and just, and, and that's it. You know, you're, we're, we're just going through this, these internet or entertainment phases. And, you know, it's like the whole history of entertainment. If you look at what was popular at different times, you know, all the, the different types of action movies and 
crime movies and you know cartoons and, and different stuff and it almost seems like the world almost gets uninterested or you know a certain type of thing can be popular for a no, uh, for for a certain amount of time <laughs> and and when you really look at people trying to do things alone that's what i realize is doing things alone for one you know that's probably the hardest thing you could do is like do something completely by yourself and and think that it's like doing something alone and expecting huge results when maybe you're just being a little bit unrealistic about your role that you're playing in entertainment and this is probably mostly for me but i know a lot of people want to take it on by themselves and they don't realize there's a lot of people in entertainment are just little components of big projects like there's a lot of people involved in those big movies and stuff that come out there's a lot of people that get paid for that shit like there's a lot of people in you know behind the scenes like a lot of people there's more like if you just see one person in the movie or whatever there's a lot of people behind that you know but people only tend to, to recognize the main person a lot of the time um there's a lot of people in the credits you know a lot of people that make it work and a lot of time one person can make can make something work and in the entire thing you know they're component of it you know what i'm saying there's people with specializations and um so for me to do stuff all alone and to to be sad or you know think that i'm i have nothing to offer or whatever when you know i'm not working and you can learn so much more from other people too and here i am just sitting here you know just just alone doing it all alone and it's it's really crazy to think about how long i've been doing it but how hard you probably have to work to make something work all by yourself and some people can do it but you know in general it's you know to make something like you know to have have any like extravagant skill or whatever you know i don't know it's it's not exactly easy um so really for for people to judge you and to tell you how terrible you are and criticize you for every little thing online when the truth is even the people that are really talented can just be a, a, a little component of the bigger thing that's going on. So, you know, it's, it's crazy. If, if you're actually able to do something by yourself, though, like, damn, hell yeah. That's all I got to say.